this is the start of a bold new chapter and the future of transportation in Guyana. The new Demerara Harbor Bridge, connecting not just shores, but generations. Hey guys, welcome back to the Shabna Show. Today, I'm bringing you an exclusive look at one of Guyana's biggest infrastructure, the new Demerara Harbor Bridge. For communities, this bridge is more than just steel and concrete. It's about connection. So let's dive in. For nearly five decades, the original bridge has served us, faithfully stretching across the Demerara River. But with age came strain. The old Demerara Harbor Bridge has connected communities, but times are changing. And Guyana, on the rise, needed something bigger, stronger, and ready for the future. As the sun sets over the Demerara River, a new era begins. Strong, united, and full of promise. The new bridge is more than 90% completed and is set to be fully operational by the end of August. It features a modern, fixed, four-lane cable state design spanning approximately 2.8 kilometers across the Demerara River. The speed limit is 80 kilometers per hour and features bicycle lanes on both sides. Asphalt work is currently in progress as, far, as part of the final stages of construction. So unlike the delays on the existing floating bridge due to the opening of the retracted spans, there will be no delays on the new bridge as the main high span is 300 meters long and 50 meters high to accommodate vessels to pass freely. These two side spans are 135 meters long. At a cost of 260 million US dollars, the bridge is being constructed through a partnership between the Guyanese government and China Railway Construction Limited and is overseen by an Italian company named Polytechnica. The iconic tall towers, which are 112 meters high, with lighting shaped like the Cassi Crown of Honor, the second highest national award in Guyana. Built to AASHTO standards, which is the American Association of State Highway and Transportation, it has a lifespan of 100 years. Over 1,300 workers are on site around the clock to ensure that the massive project is completed in time for the August 31st deadline. The President Irfan Ali has confirmed that from August 1st, the three major bridges in Guyana, which are the, of course, the this new Demerara Harbor Bridge, the Burmese Bridge, and the Wisma Bridge would all be toll free. The new bridge is designed to accommodate heavy duty vehicles and higher traffic volume. So we're all hoping that this will take care of the traffic congestion on both sides of the river, causing so many delays with travel. And as you know, the Ogle um, Eccles Highway was recently opened 
and that has taken off a whole lot of traffic from the congested East Bank Road. This was also a welcome move. I traveled on it twice and I can say uh, we got to the other end in about uh, 15 minutes, which is a lot faster than if you had to take the other road. So that's something great. And as you can tell, this bridge is very close to the old bridge. It's just like 460 meters south of the existing bridge. The approach roads for the new Demerara Harbor Bridge will connect to the existing Demerara Harbor Bridge access road on the west bank and extends eastward towards Windsor Estate and northward to Mandela Avenue in Rumveld. The bridge's western approach will be slightly more than 100 feet wide, while the eastern approach will be just about 50 feet wide. And these access roads will also include slip lanes and roundabouts to manage traffic flow. The new Demerara Harbour Bridge will have a significant positive impact on the community and e economy in Guyana. As we said earlier, it will reduce traffic congestion, improve commute times and facilitate the efficient movement of goods and people, thereby boosting economic activity in the region. The bridge will also encourage further development and investment in both sides of the river. It will also increase tourism because there will be better transportation infrastructure, which will attract more tourists to, to the area, boosting the local tourism sector. Because as it is, many people are afraid to cross this uh, old br existing bridge because of the delays they have to face with traffic. It would also facilitate regional development where it would play a crucial role in connecting the East and West Bank of Demerara, promoting balanced regional development. Like any major project, this one has faced a few delays. The original deadline was March 2025, 
but it has been pushed back to August 2025 to ensure safety and quality. Despite the delays though, which includes access to materials such as coarse sand, which is not available locally and had to be imported, the project is currently on track for the completion in August. The land on the western end of the bridge next to the approach road where the Javira Park was located is now being transformed into a beautiful recreational area. Funding for this park was provided by the Chinese government. Jovera had donated the land to the state several years ago. The original park featured a pond that was shaped like the Guyana map. The Chinese contractors are now converting that pond into a lake with a concrete bridge across it. The design aspect of the Jovera Park originates from Guyana's national flower, which is now known as the Victoria Amazonica or the giant water lily. This was first called the Victoria Regia. The park would also feature other state-of-the-art facilities such as a waterfront promenade, modern playgrounds for various sports, and an amphitheater. The park, which would cost about 2 billion Guyana dollars, is expected to be completed later this year or next year and it is expected to be one of the best leisure places in the Caribbean. Thank you so much for watching guys. I do hope you enjoyed the video and enjoyed the great drone shots and everything that we have shown you. And uh, we'll be bringing you more updates as we go along and as the time approaches for the opening. And I'm sure you're just as excited as I am for the opening of this bridge. I can't wait to grow, go across there hassle-free. Don't worry about toll, uh, traffic. I do hope that this Bridge will take care of the bottleneck, the build up of the traffic, you know, as it approach, uh, approaches the bridge because they're opening up new highways like uh, coming all the way to Parika and other areas. So we hopefully traffic will be taken care of. And yeah, look out, as I said, for more videos and uh, see you in my next video.